Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to clear out metadata information from your files all in one step. So you could kind of do this in bulk. So let's say you have a bunch of pictures with information in it. So for example, if you right click a picture, you go to its properties, go to details, you'll see all this stuff here, description, and a lot of the stuff you could change, you know, just by clicking on it and typing in there. Some stuff you can't, obviously like the dimensions, because that's part of the file itself. If you want to change the camera model, some of this other information, if you could click on it and it gives you a field, then you could change it. Otherwise, you can't change it. Like so. But let's say you don't want all this information. Let's say you're sending these files to somebody and you don't want them to see your personal stuff that you have in there. So what you could do, you could use this pre-program called Exif Cleaner. So it's just a download. It's just an executable right here. You just run it, nothing to install. All right, so let's go back to the properties here real quick. The details, we've got the title, the subject, the rating, tags, comments. What else do we got here? And a lot of this stuff, like I said, is built in. So once you drag the file in here, it does it automatically. And it kind of gives you the before and after information. So there's nothing there, so that's why it's not showing up anything. So now if we go to the properties here, the details. You can see all this stuff is cleared out. The other stuff's not because obviously you can't change that, but it cleared out all this other stuff here. And like I said, it doesn't look like it does anything. There's no menu to apply. It's just once you drag it in this box, it does it. So if you want to make sure that uh, you have a copy that doesn't get changed, you might want to make copies first, then drag them in here, and then keep your originals. Okay, and then we have a video file too. Let's look at the properties of that. Details, some information here. Added some uh, stuff under origin, under content. So let's drag that in here. So before and after. And if we go to the preview here or the properties, details, you can see it cleared out all that stuff. The origin, content, all the stuff up here. And it will also work for PDF files. So you'll notice if you right-click a PDF file and go to Properties and Details, there's nothing you can really change here. But if you open the file and go to the Document Properties, you can see you have the title and author in here, some other stuff. So now once we close this out, we'll drag this one in here. You got your before and after. And if you go to the Properties again, and details, it looks the same, but if you open it, go back to the properties here, you see that the stuff is cleared out. So it works with uh, videos, images, PDF files. I'm not sure what else it'll work with. I tried it with a Word document and it didn't work. On the website, it only mentions uh, PDFs, uh, videos, and photos, so that might be it. So you could try it with other files and see what happens. So like I said, just drag your files in here. It'll apply it automatically and then kind of give you a before and after kind of summary there. And you could do a bunch at the same time. So let's say we just do this just for fun, even though they've already been done. Like that. But these have already been applied, so nothing's going to change. But you could just do multiple files at once. So I will put a link in the description where you could download it, and then you could try it out for yourself and clear out that metadata. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.